have Dr. Borte on mm -hmm. the line. Mm -hmm. And today we're discussing face mask, which is top of the conversation, and also the use of gloves as well. So I'm going to move Absolutely. closer to him. Good ah. morning, doctor. You look much well rested today. And calm. Yeah, and calm, I know, right? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well. Can okay. You? I'm fine, thank you. There was someone who was asking if we can start making our own face mask at home and use. I saw a documentary online that said that it's okay to do your own face mask, it helps, but you need one that has a HEPA filter. And then I got confused because there are so many people who are sewing their own masks. So what is this HEPA filter and what does it do? Well, um, it's okay to have a face mask um, whichever way it comes, but we are talking about people spewing things out, others through coughing or sneezing. Mm. And these same particles or droplets having the ability to mm. pass through certain membranes. Now, um, whatever cloth you are using may have its own um, permeability. Mm. So this can permeate through it easier than, than others. So there is a, a, a filter that is used to line a mask whose permeability is not as, as porous as any other cloth you may have. Oh. That's not to say that um, cloth cannot filter anything, but there are certain dimensions of uh, particles that uh, would still filter through um, a cloth anyway. And the, the, the pores in the cloth may be too large for the particles, such that these smaller particles can easily um, transcend the borders of these uh, of this cloth that you are using. Okay. Okay. So the HEPA filter basically is something that is used to line the inner part of the. But but is this something that we can easily get? Because if I'm not getting access to a mask and I decide to make one out of African prints, because I've realized that a lot of our local producers are even being innovative. They are using African prints. Where am I going to find a HEPA filter? Uh, well. Um, I cannot tell where exactly <laughs> you can easily get it um, yeah. in, ter in terms of HEPA filter. But we're saying that um, half a loaf is better than none. Okay. Uh, for me, if the whole world decides now that let's all wear filters, at least um, a recommended filters from minimally acceptable to the, the best that we can have, mm. I think to a large extent it to reduce the spread. When, the, when the, the, the mask actually is not a matter of you wanting, you not wanting to get the infection from outside, but the problem we have now in all these statistics we have is the fact that the people with mild infection are numerous. I'm sure there are now over 800,000 people or so, or 700,000 people who are mild infections and yeah. they are healthy walking around. So, but in this asymptomatic time, they are still coughing, they are still sneezing out there and they will be spreading it. So, um, in the circumstance of having a, a mask on, yeah. chances are that it will reduce, even if the person should cough or sneeze, it stays within the confines of the mask they are wearing. Okay. So if the whole, like, like the previous pandemics, it got to a point that everybody was encouraged to wear a um, uh, mask. And that is how it's going to help in reducing the spread of, of the particles outside for somebody else to come into contact with. Because if you are wearing a mask, chances are that even if you coughed, it would not fall on surfaces around. Yeah. If you if you want to fall on, so at least it, it creates a certain barrier. All right. And hopefully, the people who are infected over time, most of whom will recover anyway, they would have recovered, and their rate of spread will also have been reduced. Okay. That okay. Understanding, um, we want to say that people should be careful and not um, be too happy too quickly because of mask, and say that because we are going to use mask or we are we are being asked to use mask then let us do away with social distancing. Mm -hmm. All these measures we are putting in place are to work together and not like one, because one uh, method comes up, we forgo the other important one. Social distancing will still be apt for this period, even if we are wearing masks. Again, when we begin to wear masks around, yeah. the temptation is that I'm free, I'm fine. So then people just take things for granted. Even disposing of the mask itself, can, can cause problems. People say, that, okay, I wore a mask. So they just take it out and throw it anywhere. Mm -hmm. You go start taking the mask and put it on the table. So if there was anything in the mask, you would have deposited it on the table on the anyway. table, okay. There has to be a, a massive um, advertisement or um, public education on the rightful use of mask. So 
if you are going to use math, then it must be done religiously mm. as um, people doing it right and not just wearing things because they say we should wear masks. At least, whichever way, if it comes in the form of cloth, it's fine, but we have different levels of, um, uh, in terms of quality All of right. filtration of Dog. these masks. Okay, quickly, do you, have, do you have the face mask with you? Do you have one in your office? I want you to demonstrate, if you have it, how to put it on and how to take it off. Because I find a lot of people touching, you know, the, the mask itself. And I know that the, the virus stays on the surface of, you know, of things. So if I'm constantly touching the mask, and that's Dr. Botte, by the way. We're just trying to see if he has a mask in the office. I think he does. Did you find one? No, it's not. It's oh, unfortunately. Else. Okay, can you still demonstrate without the mask anyway? How do I put it on? Where do I touch? And if I have to adjust it, which sides do I need to touch to adjust? Okay, the, the point to, not to, the point about mask is um, the, the, the surface, the outside of it and the inner surface. You have the inner surface, the outer surface. Yeah. The, there is a hook that usually would go over your ears. Mm -hmm. That is where you would need to touch, not the, um, the outer surface or the inner surface. Because chances are that if something from outside has fallen on the outer surface and you touch the outer surface to pull it off, mm -hmm. contaminated your hands anyway. If you also um, are um, infected or you have been exposed and you have coughed into the mask and you go taking it off like this, yeah. then you would have contaminated your hands and after that you go to a surface and you put it on the surface or you shake somebody's hands and you transfer it. So basically it's about the hook that you put just on the ear, over the ear or over your head. And when you want to take it off, you take it off the same, you take it off here okay. and then hold it and then dispose of it well in the bin. In the uh, bin, okay. A properly closed bin. Okay, that can I wash my, my cloth mask and reuse? Um, yes, um, you can, when it comes to the cloth mask, you can um, wash and reuse. Okay, okay. Uh, even though that would not be the best of things to do. Ideally, they are supposed to be disposable. But you see, when you are using detergents to wash your things, I mean, we all know that in this circumstance, you are talking about washing your hands with soup and water. Mm -hmm. And the chemical, the detergent in the, in the, in the soup is able to disintegrate a lot of these um, uh, microorganisms. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the soap is able to disintegrate the cell wall or the, the walls around the, okay. the coats around the viruses. And so if you do same, um, you are likely to have reduced the number of viruses or uh, uh, organisms on your mask. Awesome. But ideally, we see that these things are supposed to be disposable, disposed. especially when you have high rates of infection around. Let's quickly talk about the use of gloves as well. Can anybody at all just use the gloves or is that, you know, for only health workers? And if anybody can use it, how do we ensure that we keep it sanitized and safe so we don't pass on the virus? I have seen a lot of people using gloves um, in town and uh, I personally have a problem with that. Why? Um, even in the hospital, you see people coming to the facility and then they are wearing gloves. And when I see them, I, tell, I go, I meet them outside, I say, hold on, and take off the gloves, wash your hands before you touch the, the handle of the door and mm. go to get into the pharmacy or anything. Now, the wearing of the gloves gives, for me, I think it gives a false sense of security um, that uh, my, my, my hands, my hands proper, my hands are, are safe. Are clean, yeah. yeah. Touch with anything. So they wear the gloves and then they walk around town the whole day wearing gloves. Right, so you go to, you go to an office, you, you, you speak to somebody, you touch the table, it's a surface. You could have picked something with your glove on. Mm. And then you go into a, to get a taxi or anything. You hold the handle of the taxi, somebody else would have held it. You don't know what they have deposited. They have, you have yeah. your gloves. And then from there, you walk in town and then your phone rings. And spontaneously, you pick your phone with the same glove and you listen to a call or mm -hmm. make a call on your phone. Whatever uh, contaminants are on the glove would have been deposited on your phone as well. Mm. Go back home, you touch door handles, you go to other police, you touch door handles, and whatever is on your glove, you would have deposited it there, and you would be spreading things more. Gloves are supposed to be disposable gloves. 
when we use them in hospital. Ideally, I think that they should be used more in the hospital. Okay. When we use them in the hospital, it's per case. Even sometimes you are working on one particular patient, but you change your gloves like three times mm. because of what you are working on. So you wear the glove, you just maybe clean the surface you are going to work on. After cleaning the surface, you even take it off and then to the next point of the procedure, you wear a different glove. That is how careful we are. So if somebody will wear gloves in town and be walking about touching things and thinking that my hands are safe, then they'll be making a big mistake. What if I sanitize it? Good. So the, somebody came and said that, okay, so when I use the glove, I, I sanitize it all the time. For every now and then, every second, I sanitize it all the time. I said, well, you are, you are doing well. But again, you cannot trust yourself too much. When, even when you are not wearing gloves, you, we, we forget to sanitize our hands sometimes. Mm. You cannot say that you sanitize this glove every now and then. Um, it will be something that you said you tell yourself I'm doing, but you may miss it at a okay. point in time. But when you don't have gloves on, your consciousness about your safety is higher okay. than when you don't have when, than when you have the gloves on. The gloves gives you a false sense that I'm fine. I All mean, right. I, my hands are protected. So right. I think that the wearing of gloves in town, I don't condone that idea. Okay, but, with mask, I'm fine. I mean, we, should, we can wear masks as often as we can. But let's also make sure that our masks are a good mask. They okay. are, we are not wearing them for days on end. Oh, At least if it's within a day, fine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bote. Dr. Bote is a medical practitioner, and he's been speaking to us about the right usage of face masks and the gloves as well.